Welcome back to another episode of the Close Back Channel. Today's video, we're going to do the league recap of the five major leagues France, Italy, England, Spain, and Germany. So, without wasting any more time, let's roll. All right, today we're going to start in Italian Calcio. Uh, since we had the big news today, like a few hours ago, the news just came down. Juve got you know, deducted 10 points. If you remember at the beginning of the season, Juve was deducted 15 points due to some, you know, discrepancies on their account. Uh, some, some things were not looking as financial fair play want to look as far as their standard. So um, Juve would, would deducted 15 points. But then, like, not even two months ago, they got the the suspension got suspended so to speak and they were given their 15 point back so they bumped back all the way to the second place or the third i believe and now this morning like a few hours ago like i say we just learned that finally you was going to be taking now no more 15 point but 10 points going to be deducted from their um league so now that good news is going to be for ac milan really because milan when Juve got bumped, got given their 15 point back, they went all the way. Like, Juve currently sitting at second place, really. Uh, and Lazio is third now. And Milan is fifth. So, the beneficiary, so to speak, of this would be AC Milan. Because now Juve get 10 points down. Because Juve, right now, they have 69 points. If you take 10 points, that's 59. So, they're going to clear the spot. And then Lazio going to be second. Inter Milan third. And AC Milan goes back. To fourth in the in the league table, really. So Milan is pretty happy with that news. Uh, Juve still has one appeal; they can appeal the the sanction. But it's knowing that there's only like two more games left in Italian Serie A, three for certain they haven't played because Juve actually plays today against Empoli. So there's really two games left. Is Juve review gonna be? Do they are they gonna have enough time to, you know, do they appeal and the process go through? And is it going to be in effect for this particular season or is it going to be for next season? Like, is you let's say you've win their appeal, which it's unlikely because they've been it's been twice they've been indicted about that. They first in the beginning of the season and now today. So, even if they win by the time they do the appeal and they win, the season could be over. Now, I don't see the Italian league giving Juve the benefits of the doubt and say that they won the case. Are they going to give Juve is Juve going to start with 10 points next season? Above everybody else, I think that would be kind of unfair because it's, it's a whole different season. Or is is it gonna go even after the end of the season? Is the process gonna go through? Let's say Juve, the season ends and Juve is fifth because they go deducted ten points. Can the Italian league arbitrarily, like let's say beginning of August, give Juve back the ten point and a team like AC Milan? Let's say Milan, you know, is now fourth in the league. And now they start preparing the next season, knowing they're going to play the Champions League. Some player will resign the contract because Champions League is a big deal for some player. They want, they need to play in the Champions League, not just for the club uh, financially, but some player, they want to display their talent in the Champions League. So, like Rafael Leao, for example, he just signed his new contract. What if other players sign the new contract thinking they're going to play in the Champions League because the league says so? And then in late July or beginning of August, you end up winning you know, with their appeal. If Milan is now bumped to fifth place, that's not going to be fair for the play, for the team that's already preparing for the next season. So, unless they're going to make everything happen between the next two weeks, I really don't see Juve winning that appeal. Really, I really don't see them winning that appeal. And even if they win, how they're gonna how are they gonna rectify taking the ten point out? Anyways, that's a big mess in as far as the f top four is concerned. As far as like in the Italian league. One thing we know for sure, Napoli is champion. So Napoli, it doesn't affect Napoli at all. The team that mostly get affected is going to be AC Milan. Because like I said, Milan is fifth in the league. If Juve get a 10-point down, Juve goes back all the way down. And Milan bumped to the fourth place and they get Champions League football. So we're going to see. I'm going to update you guys on how everything going on in the Italian league. Um, you know, if there's any, any, any new update. Like I said, this news just came out a few hours ago. But anyways, that's it for Italian league. Now we got we had some game over the weekend, like I say. Uh, we're gonna start from on um, Friday. We had Sassuolo and Monza. Sassuolo uh, lost at home against Monza 2-1. Bologna defeated Cremonese 5-1. Atalanta won 3-1 to Elas Verona. AC Milan did beat uh, Sampdoria 5-1. Rafael Leal scored, of course, Giu had a triple, a hard trick, and then Brian Diaz. La Space and Leche 0-0. Torino, Fiorentina 1-1. 
Napoli defeated Inter Milan on Sunday. Um, 3 1. Zambo and Gisa, Di Lorenzo, and Gaetano. Gaetano scored his first goal of the season. And Udinese lost to Lazio at home 1 0. My boy Chiro Immobile scored a goal. And then on Monday, we had Iso Roma and Salernitana 2 2. So, like I say, it's a big shamble in the Italian league. The league table is going to be could change. It's going to change today for sure because Juve, it's official. They got deducted 10 points. But, like I say, Juve still have one appeal uh, for the Italian league board. If they win their appeal, how fast can that move for them to win their appeal? Is it going to be in, in the same season or is it going to be you know, deducted for next season? Uh, we're going to see how that works. But so far, Napoli's champion, we know that for sure. Right now, Juve is still second, but it's gonna, they're going to fix it. So I'm going to give you the league table as is with Juve without the text point, the 10 point that were deducted. So Napoli first, Lazio Rome second, Inter Milan third, AC Milan will be fourth, Atlanta will be fifth, Roma will be sixth, and then Juve will be seventh when they deduct the point. They have an update on, on the Italian website, um, the league table. I'm just giving you as it is. And that's it for this last week in the Italian League. And next match then, Italy will be starting Friday, May 26th. Salernitana is going to host Udinese. Sampdoria face Sassuolo. La Spesa host Torino. Fiorentina host Ice Roma, Inter Milan, Atlanta, Bergamo. That's a big game, especially for the fight for the top four. Atlanta is currently, with Juve being down, Atlanta is currently fifth. And U Inter Milan is going to be third when Juve gets down. And then we get on Sunday, Hellas Verona are going to be hosting Empoli. And then Bologna, Napoli, Monta Lecce, Lazio Roma, Cremonese, and Juve is going to host AC Milan. So, Juve and Milan. Milan is the beneficiary if Juve gets the... Not if. When Juve gets the 10-point deducted because the news just came out today. By the time they update the league, Milan will be fourth. But Inter, I mean, Juve is facing AC Milan on Sunday. It will be a good statement for Juve if they can beat AC Milan. And it will be a better news for AC Milan that can beat Juve and then solidify their first place. But uh, yeah, that's it for the Italian League. We're going to jump right back on the next league.